Hello and welcome to Darius Comic School and today my first video after uh, the Comic Salon Erlangen which could be called a Comic Con but it's more of a festival um, and today I will talk personally to you uh, from my experiences and I will show you before we start a quick haul of what I got and this will be the next video and after that we will talk about uh, Will Eisner and John Romita Jr. Um, in different videos. So I got myself, uh, usually I get myself tons of comics but um, as time goes on I have seen a lot and I somehow know what's my uh, taste now and it's just a pilgrim. I had uh, a mini series of this but I gave them away and now they are returning to me. So Garth Ennis makes uh, a return to me. I got myself a uh, hundred bullets. Um, yeah, probably because like I was watching or reading this panel and it just got me like the simplicity, the storytelling and we will go into these later. I got myself some Bloody Mary Lady Liberty. I had to got this because get this because like um, um, again Garth Ennis, and then when I saw this uh, burning America and a nun in the, I mean, come on, how can you not get this? This is like really cool. And then um, from a friend of mine, Michael Wild. This is in German. Apfel der Baba. I will take a read on this and then I wanted to get myself some good 90s, 80s, 90s uh, John Romita Punisher Warzone. Um, we will take a look at this soon. And before I start the talk, I got myself also a print from a friend of mine. Um, Crisp. Is his name you can follow him on Instagram maybe I will link it down below he makes great gr prints uh, digital art I will show this to you um, in the comic haul video and then I got myself also um, some other prints and I myself made also illustrations but today I want to talk to you how the experience was and yeah, uh, how how it all went, and what maybe what wisdom I may can share with you. So I hope I'm spot on in the center of the camera. Um, all the drawing videos will come, promised. I'm just one comics along, and then I had um, how do you say? My vernissage this weekend and yeah let's jump into the past weeks so last um, Tuesday the comic salon Erlangen opened in the beautiful city of Erlangen and there were like three big um, halls or how can I say it it was like um, Halle A, B and C and I went there and it was first thing it was cool to see all my old comic friends and we we didn't see each other for like two years um many people had finished comics pro comic projects uh many people have now families uh i i have no family right now like on my own it's just my relatives and friends and I'm more tribal at the moment but if I can maybe I will start a family um, but that's a different topic for a different comic I have a I have a strange view on that but I will let you in on that and when I will start to show you my upcoming comic projects so I hope I'm recording and not just rambling on for four minutes yeah so comics along Erlangen how was it um, and what can you take from it um, it was cool the first let me first explain when I was the first time there um, in 2016 it was my first time nobody knew me like the people said okay 
who is this guy? I don't know him. He comes out of nowhere. And the reason for that was because I was, I wanted to get into comics and making comics, but there was no comic school at that time. Maybe the Qbert school, but far away in New York, very expensive. And who do I know who came out of the Qbert school? I don't. Some, some, some did, and I, I am a great admirer of. Um, Andy and Adam Kubert, I guess Adam Kubert's one of my favorite artists uh, and his Wolverine run and X-Men and I was always pumped to see him and the father with a Kubert school, I, I really love what I did and on my vision board on my laptop there is definitely some element of that like for me um, from, from the side of my father um, most people are teachers and from the side of my mother they are not artists but they have definitely um they can draw they can all draw my cousins and um there's also some musicality and so maybe it comes together in me so my my genes are really my destiny to mount doom <laughs> and when i was there the first time in 2016 i was well received and um it, w it was like four days and i was hustling every day and i had great products with me a game and a comic and i guess i made a thousand bucks in a day uh, not in a day in four days like 1k in four days and it was pretty cool because like i was gearing up 2014 very poor um to master this craft and to create products that people really want and to create value for this world and they rewarded we with money and then 2018 uh, i went alone without my mentor ralph nise um, he had some deadlines to finish and it was also a cool time because like i went there and i thought okay i don't know anybody but usually the first day of the festival s you click with somebody and everybody is there and um, you hang out together, you talk, you talk about experiences as an artist and then you go eat together a pizza or the local specialties and then you go home and the next time, you, next day you do it all again. And it sometimes um, creates a strong bond like I was never in the military or something like that. But you know what I mean? You're like-minded people, you share common hardships and passions and um, also professionals recognize each other and so it's very cool it's like a homecoming because um, in this town and I will talk a bit about the Vernissage like it's hard that people get you but there it's like everybody gets you like everybody does art and that's beautiful and then I wanted to go 2020 in May and June and then Corona happened and broke me for two years uh, in a row in many different ways, which I have now, I would say, fully recovered from everything <laughs> financially, mentally, health-wise, which is great. I thought I might not recover. And then I went and um, the first day like uh, went very cool. I, I arrived. Um, I had two places to stay. Like One was um how do you say a f kind of fraternity house uh with medical students and then um i had a different place i could stay and it was with a musician he's a bit older than me like in his 40s or 50s and two days before i was about to go i didn't have a place to sleep and i was sincerely thinking about sleeping in a car or maybe in a tent um, I was also thinking about not going because I hadn't a place to stay. Um, because I was invited, um, I really wanted to go, but I didn't know due to uh, COVID restrictions if it was able, uh, if I was able to go, if I was, uh, if I had the time to go, if I wanted to go, um, and then uh, at short no short notice, I guess you might say, um, I got in. And then I got a place to stay, and it was cool seeing all the people's uh, people and different artists and what they do. 
and now this is what I have to share what might be very important or maybe the title of this video um, like I don't know say how, how, how do I say it like I, I went there and people had finished projects and um, I have not finished my comic project or, or many of my co comic projects but um, I don't want to say I had bigger fish to fry but um, I had to, to care for my health and also I was creating a bit other things the last year years so I when, when I went there I saw a lot of great artists a lot of great comic books so much like like really really much like uh, even even the illustrations like I was I, I felt kind of old like like Tom Cruise and Top Gun I felt kind of kind of um, maybe obsolete a bit and and I didn't know if I still had it in me <laughs> and I don't want to say that my art's the best but there is definitely art that's selling um, that's really great and then there's there's art that is selling um, that I don't think is great and that I can do better story-wise comic-wise graphic novel-wise um, in in every aspect and I wouldn't call that that I'm arrogant I just know I can I know it takes time I know I will put in the time and do it but yeah I, kinda, I, I was kind of humbled I was inspired um, and then also like you're 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 questioning so what what am I doing here am I am I am I right here or should I do something different um, like the first year I was selling like crazy the second year I was like enjoying the party and selling and this time I was more enjoying the party but also selling and uh, it was not a huge sale but it covered my expenses so it was kind of like a hol holiday um, and the great thing was um, after the first day um, it was in a park or you could could go outside the city of Erlangen is very beautiful and then I got s outside in a park and I knew one guy and I was sitting down and then some 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 new click cli uh, how do you say some new entourage formed and it was really cool I was hanging out with um, these guys and girls for the next two to three days and it's really cool how something like that happens uh, because like you you think maybe you don't fit in but it was cool um, yeah coming home what what do, what else do I have to say and seeing their perspective on a lot of things and I know and this is also really important like I know they create great artwork and great single piece illustrations but they really in their heart want to do a comic and to tell a story and they don't do it because um, because they think it's too long it takes too much time it brings too little money and that's the thing I want to talk about because I think on this planet right now and here we come again come back to the to the to the analogy of Top Gun and where I find my car again I was looking through all of these comics and um, I was also selling my comics and my game and as I was selling them I kind of felt a new as I was talking to the people or fan or buyers um, that my story is still relevant and very important for the world like the last pickup artist is about a guy who wants a girlfriend who can't have a girlfriend and then we look into the issues of the guy but also into the issues of the world and our our structural problems like individual problems are sometimes your individual problems but mostly I found that they're structural societal problems and that sounds very cliche like society it's society's fault but yeah you're born into a big bubble and um, let me let me give you an example you have a smartphone and it's yours and or, or your laptop or your instrument no let's say it's your smartphone and you want to use it the way you want to use it you want to put your music on it you want to put the apps you want on it you want to have your 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 screen um, the picture you're looking at you want to put that on but let for example let's 
let's say you buy that smartphone, you want to use it, and I put the apps on you, I put the apps on your smartphone that I think are important for you, I change the picture to what I think you should look at, and I put the music and the programs I think you should look at. And that's pretty much the world. That's pretty much how we are raised and how we're taught um, where our attention should go. And that's like really wrong. <laughs> what what good should come out of it? Like that's slavery or something like that. And I don't say it's all bad, but you should do with your attention what you want to do. And then you're constantly bombarded with with information, with stuff, with things that seem to be important but are not important and your life gets behind. So that's what, what my comics always will be and that's what I will preach a bit on this channel. Um, like you have a voice, you have your art and it's important that you share it with the world. Because when I was sifting through all of these comics, like uh, old comics, new comics, comics for entertainment um, everybody wants to share his view on the world or, or, or share his journey or whatever uh, through artwork through stories ideally they want to earn also a bit of money but I was uh, talking uh, talking with a lot of artists and some make their living from comics some don't um, some people have great comics and sell and some people have not yet reached that point of mastery and that's very crucial that you need that you need a product that really really looks good and is good so that it can stand uh, the test of time without you like wh while I was doing my vernissage my my exhibition this Saturday I was looking at the pictures and for a short second I was thinking wow this is so good um, it doesn't even look uh, uh, it doesn't even. Um, for sh for a short second, I was thinking, "Who made these?" Like I was not thinking, "I made them." Like I was just looking at a picture and I was admiring it. And at that moment, I knew that my art can be can make money. Not that it's the most important, but it seems like the the most important aspect. Can you make money with it? Can you like only then is it worth noticing? But it's not. Um, Sometimes the thing we notice with our money uh, is not really like, I don't know, it's Justin Bieber good. I think he's shit or maybe is, is, is the latest season of Game of Thrones good. I think we need to come back to our core values and what is good. And, and the Comic Con really showed me what is really important, that it's important to have cool people around you, like friendship. Like I, w I was valuing valuing definitely the fans and the sales, but I was also valuing spending time with other comic artists and just having a good time. And what I have to say this time with the artists I h hung out uh, hung out with, uh, it was really like they knew all the movies I knew, uh, they knew some of the comics. Like they 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 they. they we're, we're nerds like like I am and so I really felt at home and I had doubts are my comics good are they not good but I think um, being there made me aware that I really have to say something that I want to say it that I do not want to back down um, because of money or other consequences and not tell my stories like um how many how many creative pursuits or or great dreams or good things are not given or gifted to this world because our time and attention is divided in other things and i am not saying that that is, that that's always good um uh, because it's good and healthy to have uh, a home that's paid for or a room um and to have um intimate relationship with somebody or a family or kids or the things you want to do with your life whatever that may be and to allocate time money um, and attention to it and to make it happen but 
the comics along Erlangen made me see that there is a lot of great stuff out there um, that it can be very intimidating and that at the end of the day you should still come back to your place to your home wherever it be and sit down and create your own stories comics um, to tell the world what you have seen and what you think is really important. We we'll see us in the next video.